Oh, what an absolute nightmare. Now, obviously, it's been a while since I last uploaded and for good reason. You know, I went home for a week and, you know, we'll talk about the other big reason why it's been so long in tomorrow's video. You know, a lot of you guys have been asking what happened to the Derwin League, and I don't want to rant this video, right? Again, we're saving that for tomorrow, so make sure you guys watch that video, because I'm going to get into it, man. EA has been pissing me off lately, and they pissed me off again with this league. We were supposed to upload yesterday, but then the servers were down all night long. Nobody could play their games. They were supposed to be up this morning at 10.30 a.m., and of course, EA was late by a few hours, but... Let me calm down here. Let me take a deep breath. We do have the start of a brand new CFM series. The first league I have ever hosted, I tweeted out on, on Twitter, obviously, for all of my viewers, for all of my subscribers to go ahead, get involved. So if you guys are not following me on Twitter, you guys are interested in joining these leagues in the future, make sure you guys drop me a follow on that platform. But we're taking Dan Campbell and the Detroit Lions to not one, not two, but three Super Bowls. All right, boys, this is a three-year league, the longest I have ever participated in. We have one of the youngest and most exciting teams in the NFL. So much talent to build around. I couldn't be more excited. And with that being said, let's go ahead, jump into the video and we are starting off this video with an absolute bang making a big time blockbuster trade with the cincinnati Bengals. if you guys have any recommendations for what i should be doing with my roster who i should be resigning to big time contracts who i should be trading away who i should be trading for let me know in the comments below but this is one of my all-time favorite trades right here okay now we have one of the best offensive lines in the game we have Panay Sewell, who is a young superstar, only 21 years old, 85 overall. He is going to hold that unit down. Now, because of this, I think we can go ahead and trade away our highest overall player, Frank Ragnow. Now, I know he is one of the best players, if not the best player at his position, but he's not a superstar. He's only star dev. Offense alignment in this game cannot get dev games to go up to a higher dev trade. I'm pretty sure. Unless they changed it recently, that's how it's always been, which sucks. I wish that wasn't a thing in Madden. Hopefully they change that for Madden 24. I know he's young, 26, star dev, 88 overall. He's an absolute beast. But again, because our unit is so good, I think we can make do without him. I'm going to trade him away. Now, the second piece we are giving away as well is DJ Chark. Now, Chark is really a prototypical Madden wide receiver. He is young, 25 years old. He's six foot four. He's 94 speed. His overall isn't the best and his dev trait is only normal, but he is one of the better wide receivers in the game that isn't a superstar in my opinion. But we do have Jamo Williams who actually, well, actually I'm not gonna give that away right now, but we do have Jamo Williams who is 98 speed, probably a top three wide receiver in Madden. We also have Amon Ra St. Brown. So we have two elite pass catchers. I think I can do without Chark. Now the player we are trading for from the Cincinnati Bengals, I'm really excited for this one, boys. No, it's not Joe Burrow. I think we're gonna make do with Jared Goff for the first season. We are trading for Jesse Bates, 92 overall superstar, super young, one of the best safeties in the game. Now I know he's not the fastest, he's only 89 speed, but he does have some of the best abilities in the game as well. I think he's really gonna help out our questionable secondary. I love this trade. Let me know if it's a W or an L. I love it, man. I love it personally. I think Jesse Bates is going to be an absolute baller for us this season. Let's go ahead, submit this trade and wait for our guy to accept it. And I almost just spoiled it a second ago, but Jamo Williams in the preseason actually got bumped up to a superstar. I have never seen that before. That was such a pleasant surprise. A top three wide receiver in the game now becomes a superstar. He might be the best. He is right there, 1A, 1B with Tyreek Hill, in my opinion. You know, obviously the difference is the overall, but Jamo Williams is also younger. He's also taller as well, which does make a huge difference in this game. So again, such a pleasant surprise. And I think he was the most talented player in that entire draft class from last year. Now, obviously he's dealing you know, with coming off an injury. So hopefully we see him really emerge in real life in his second season, but man, I can't wait to use him this year in Madden. And something I should note as well is this league is going to be different than our other big money leagues. We actually just got rid of the ability shop. So think of all those optional superstars, those optional X factors and age reductions, you know, we've been able to use in the past. 
We threw those out the window. We've also banned quarterback velocity ability. So pass lead, elite, gunslinger, anything that makes the ball get thrown faster has been banned. Anything that allows you to see your opponent's play art, you know, Omaha, threat detector, things like that have also been banned. One of the most overpowered corner abilities in the game, inside shade, which basically just makes man coverage insanely good, has also been banned. I'm trying to make this league a lot more sim style, which again is a lot different than those big money leagues we have ran in the past. And if you guys like this style, once again, let me know in the comments below. I'm super excited for this. We get to grow and develop our players organically, which I think is gonna make this just honestly a lot more exciting. Okay, well, I wasn't planning on like adding upgrades into the intro just because we didn't really have that many, but my cues, our start of corner actually gets plus one speed up to 91. Okay, well, I mean, we'll absolutely take that. Now I'm not done with the trades quite yet, all right? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna trade my second round pick here to the Bengals, which obviously if we have a good season, shouldn't really be worth that much. I think those second round picks are worth a lot more, a lot more valuable in real life. And because we did just trade the Bengals, DJ Chark, he now doesn't have a need for Tyler Boyd, who doesn't really jump off the page. You know, he is an 82 overall. He's 27 years old, star dev. He's only 89 speed, so nothing absolutely outstanding, but he is pretty tall. Again, he does have a good dev trait, and I think he should be a good route runner for us. He should be a good wide receiver two or three behind JMO and Amon Ross St. Brown. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make this trade right here, and I think this is gonna make our pass catching core a whole lot better. So here is our roster as a whole. Obviously, we traded Ragnow, so we went ahead and signed forest lamp and free agency jonah jackson is going to move over to center here i think our offensive line unit is still pretty decent especially with sewell at right tackle amon ross st brown is actually making the change to tight end now the rules in our league are if a wide receiver is 89 speed or slower they can change to that position amon Ra, obviously not the fastest although he did get a big time speed upgrade i think from 85 which was super disrespectful to begin the season to an 89 now and i think this position is going to fit him quite nicely especially considering the fact that our next best option was brock wright who's a 65 overall i obviously wish we still had hawkinson that would make our team really unstoppable We'll deal without him for now, though. Tyler Boyd at wide receiver one, JMO at two. And then I think Reynolds is probably going to be our three, although that might be a position, you know, we could trade for this season or possibly, you know, improve in the draft at the end of the season. We have Jamal Williams there at running back, one of my favorite players in the NFL. We have DeAndre Swift as well. And then Jared Goff, again, is going to be our QB one for the season, although Again, that's a position I'm probably gonna improve in the next year draft. Over on the defensive side of the football, super excited to add Jesse Bates to the secondary. Kirby Joseph, the star dev safety who absolutely owns Aaron Rodgers is going to play strong safety, I believe. We have Uwarie, Warrior. If you guys remember my Lions League from last year, he was one of our best players, but I just could never pronounce the name correctly. I don't think that's gonna change. We do have Akuda as well. Hughes, who just got the speed upgrade. Hutchinson and Akora on the defensive line now. They did James Houston kind of dirty. This is one of the best young edge rushers in the NFL, and he's only a 71 normal dev. They don't even have a picture for him, which is super disappointing. Hopefully we can develop him on our own, but I wish I wish EA showed him a bit more respect. We're gonna go ahead and use pick artists in deep out zone KO for our safety, Jesse Bates. It's my favorite ability combo for high overall safeties. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our week one game against the Eagles, and let's start the season off with an absolute bang. I didn't say it like that. That was so corny, bro. Let's beat this guy's ass, man. Come on. Now, we're going to be rocking the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook, the 4-6 defensive playbook. I'm going to be dropping my offensive ebook next week on teamgetlucky.com. I already have three offensive schemes on there. I have my 4-6 defense. Noah has his schemes on there as well, the number two ranked Madden player in the world. Go to teamgetlucky.com, become a member. It helps me out a ton, and then obviously, it should help you guys out a ton as well. Learning the game, learning some schemes that can easily help you dominate your opponents. All right, so this guy clearly knows what he's doing. He's come out in dollar baseline, DB fire, which is obviously the defense I run. Probably the best defense in the game. Now the weakness though, especially in TFM in my opinion, is the run game. So DeAndre Swift could potentially have a big day for us. And in a league where we're not allowed to edit our QB's throwing style or a league where obviously pass lead elite and set feet elite are banned, I'm not afraid to run the ball a bit more here. Here. Hold on, hold on. Oh my, I'm getting screamed at. All right, I don't 
know if we had anything open there. Maybe one of the seams, but Fletcher Cox, big Cox right in my face right there, going absolutely crazy. Jared Goff showing off the mobility. Let's go, baby. Oh, with the 0-1 trap here instead of the inside zone. I got to stop doing the spin move. Like, why do, why do I start doing that now? It's not good. Like, just do a normal juke. I go 0 oh, one trap again. Nice run, DeAndre. Go, JMO. Go, JMO. God, no! Oh! Why did I do that? Wait, who the hell is number 40? Jalen Hurts. Is that Nick Chubb? How do the Eagles get Nick Chubb? What? Stop the run. Stop the run. Tackles. There we go. If we slow down Nick Chubb, I think we should find some success on defense this game. And Nick Chubb <laughs> is getting every touch this game. Oh, man. Pressure, come on, baby. I got stuck on the defensive line, but James Houston, the rookie, with the big time sack. Out of field goal range as well. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. Here we go, JMO. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh my god, this game might finish three to nothing. This is a Pittsburgh Steelers Baltimore Ravens game. Bates! Oh come on, Jesse! Oh my god, he He ran. He ran the ball on third and long. Wow. And it gets overthrown for a pick six. Oh, he was wide open in the flats. Oh, we have a massive, massive hill to over, overcome now. Or I don't even, what's the saying? I don't know, dude. 14 nothing. When it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> Just got to get seven before half here. That's really all we can focus on. Come on, baby. All right, got to get seven here. Got to get seven, K-Mac. It's not been pretty so far, but we're good. Here we go, Amon Ra. Come on, baby. The catch. Dot. Come on, baby. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going for two as well. I'm going for two. He's in... He's in dollar, bro. I'm going to run here. I'm going to run here. You get the two-point conversion. We're only down 13. Let's play some defense, man. Come on, baby. Play some D. I mean, a fullback dive, though? I mean, this guy is playing ultra conservative right now. Fullback dive? <laughs> what? That is crazy. Another run here. Dude, really? Oh, he gets a spike off, too. I mean, oh, this guy is just, I mean, he's the best. He's the GOAT. Please be short. Please be short. Please be short. Let's go, man. Come on. We needed that one so badly. Just stop the run, bro. He don't want to pass. Come on. Fumble! I mean, he's got to fumble that, dude. Come on, dude. Good D. Come on, baby. Great defense. He's actually going to punt here, which is super interesting. You don't see a lot of punts in Madden, especially in fourth and six. 
I'm going to watch out for the fake here. But if we get the ball back, man, if we have a good offensive drive, which we really haven't had so far this game. Oh, my God. This guy's the punt, punt Zeus. No wonder he punted. Go Swift. Go Reynolds. Let's go Reynolds. Uh, just such a lofted pass right there, man. Oh, it's a backbreaker. Oh, we had an opportunity, man, and just the ball gets floated, floated. Mm, good defense. Tackles, there we go, come on, come on. D up right here, baby, D up. Oh, sir, great defense came out, come on, man. Get in the end zone, dude. <laughs> Offense is so hard without these velocity abilities, man. It really is. We have an opportunity though right here. We can't squander this one. We've been given life again. Oh, come on. I know it's a tough throw from Jerry Goff, but he was wide open. DeAndre, DeAndre fights. Nice catch. I mean, don't let him come in free. Oh, all right, come on. I mean, he is inviting the run right here. Come on, man. What a play call on third and six. Let's go. All right, here we go. We got to get the two again. Got to get the two again. And the reason I'm doing this is because if he gets three, we're only down seven, all right? Wait, no, we're, we'd only be down eight. I'm going to run again. I'm going to run again, man. Come on. Now if he gets three, it's still a one-possession game. So we do have some breathing room here. We can be as really as aggressive as we want on defense. Let's get a stop again. We've been playing lights-out defense in the second half. It's been carrying our offense, giving them so much life. We have to repay the favor here. Pick. Oh. We had a man up. Akuda. Good dots. Wow. I'm going to run commit. I'm going to run committing. I don't think he's passing here. Second time he's taken a double team like hit stick tackle with his quarterback and hasn't coughed it up. What is going on? Give up the drag. I mean, that's so frustrating, man. Like he tried to throw the game. He really did. He tried to throw. He tried to lose and the game just didn't let him. It's frustrating, man. All right, got to hold a three, man. Tackles. There we go, Hutch. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. This is where we make our stand. Right here, fellas. Right here. He's going to go for it. Try to ice the game. Come on, man. Let's go. Great defense, baby. Get seven, K-Max. Somehow, someway, get in the end zone right here. Let's close this one out. Come on. wide open Jared oh for the game here we go I mean Jared just sold bad oh my god what a catch what a catch Amon Ra come on baby fight fight snap come on J-Mo J-Mo Jaymo, come on! Let's go! We gotta get this two, though. Oh my goodness. 
No! Good defense. All right. Game's not over. Gets in a field goal range. It's GG's. Got a fight right here. Pick! Oh, come on! Tackle and bounce. That's fine. We can give that up. D, man, come on, fourth down, let's go. Come on, baby, let's go. Victory formation, gentlemen, victory formation. What a finish, what a finish. Oh, it's gonna take me some time to acclimate to this, uh, this no quarterback velocity, man. It really is, it, it's tough, it's tough to play offense. It's really tough to get in the end zone. I mean, we somehow, some way, found a way to win the game. Woo! What a start. What a start. Let's go, man. Come on.